I'm walking along our nature trail in the old field and it smells so divine because the American plums are in bloom. Look at this. This is Prunus Americana. And this one, man, just hit the sweet spot. <laughs> the stem is huge. They're suckering. It's truly magnificent. And there are insects covering all of the blooms. I'm going to take us up the trail here just a bit because we have a few planted right in a row up here and it's so beautiful. The red buds are coming into bloom as well, so I'll do a different video on those, but here we go. So we're passing silky dogwoods, which these come on later, right here, but look right now, early, mid-April, we're going to get a car right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody's real loud around here. Look at it. And there's several right in a row. And so the scent is fabulous. Now this is the same time of year that calorie pear are blooming. And remember, calorie pear are super awful for the environment. They're really invasive, but they're very easy to mix up with American plum. So do your research and know, to, know how to identify them, how to tell the difference. You really can just by looking at the petals and the anthers and the scent. These smell good. Hint, hint. <laughs> the American plums. Let's zoom in there. Let's see if the camera will focus for a minute. Yes. And see how the petals pinch tight at the end you might not be able to with my phone but that's another thing for plums and then the yellow anthers not gray so they smell good the petals are really pinched together at the base and so they're not touching one petal after another and then the yellow anthers but do your research <laughs> because it would be very sad to kill a whole bunch of American plum thinking it was calorie pear. If you don't have American plum or whatever plum is native to your region, plant them now. You will not be disappointed.